Hello, and welcome to this quick start video on the Benro X-Series 3XM Stabilizer. In this short video, we'll walk you through the Benro mobile application, calibrating your gimbal, adjusting parameter settings, and show you how it can help you create dynamic imagery using your X-Series stabilizer. If this is your first time using the app, you will have to perform an initial calibration on your gimbal. First, make sure your camera is balanced. For detailed instructions on how to balance your 3XM gimbal, please refer to our balancing video. Let's get started. Download the Benro Gimbal app to your mobile device. Make sure that your 3XM is in Bluetooth mode. Hold down the M on button until you see a flashing blue light. Once your gimbal is connected to your app, the motor will temporarily be disabled. Launch the Benro Gimbal application. Select X-Series and then press Select Device. Now choose the device you will be using. Once selected, press Enter Device. You will be prompted to pair with nearby devices that are powered on. Select your device. You will be prompted to upgrade the firmware if necessary. Once your device is connected, reboot your gimbal to get it back into a shooting mode. Now, navigate to the Strength Selection screen. This allows you to switch between different control strengths. Select the best setting based on the weight of the camera you are using. Selecting the highest strength without seeing any motor vibration will provide the best stabilization. If you see or hear too much vibration, the motors will be working too hard. Less vibration, means the end result will be a more desirable and longer battery life. Now, let's calibrate the drift by pressing Drift Calibration. You will get a notification to place the gimbal on a flat surface, and be sure it is in Bluetooth mode. Once you've done this, press Confirm to start the calibration. Your app will notify you when successfully completed. If your gimbal is not properly balanced, your calibration may fail. Ensure your 3XM is correctly balanced and try again. Now let's proceed with the level calibration. This process will go through six facets of your 3XM's rotation. For level calibration, your 3XM needs to be in a standing position on a flat surface. If you're using a longer lens, it may obstruct the camera rotation during the calibration. Once completed, you will get a notification if it was successful. If you are unsuccessful, Double check your balance, or if there are any obstructions, and try again. After calibrating your gimbal, reboot your 3XM. Your 3XM gimbal has three specific modes you can shoot with. You can navigate through these modes by pushing down on the M on button on the 3XM, and you will see the appropriate colors associated with each mode. Horizontal follow mode, or red mode, locks the tilt axis, but allows you to pan around and follow a subject. Universal Follow Mode, or Pink Mode, provides smooth camera movements towards the direction you're aiming. Lockdown Mode, or Blue Mode, keeps the pan, roll, and tilt axes locked and level at all times. And by using the directional button on your 3XM, in conjunction with these modes, you can flawlessly control your movements. You can also snap photographs, record video, or zoom with functions on the handle of your 3XM. Now, within the app, let's make sure we're in the Control Panel tab to see the available remote functions. The joystick allows you to make remote pan or tilt movements depending on which mode your 3XM is in. The plus or minus buttons allow you to adjust your zoom. You can use the photo button to snap a photograph when your camera is in photo mode. When your camera is in video mode, by pressing the video button in the control panel, you can start recording a video. Enabling the roll following while the 3XM is in universal follow mode will allow the camera to follow your rotational hand movements. In the last tab, you will find the overall parameter settings. The first setting you will see is power supply to camera. If you have the USB cable connected to your camera from your gimbal, your camera will charge from your gimbal's battery supply. The other settings allow you to adjust the zoom speed of your remote zoom function. Here we will show you how to adjust the tracking strength of your pan and tilts. 
Lower the level to weak for slower, steady pan and tilt movements. You would increase it to strong for whip pans and faster camera movements. The next parameters you can adjust are the horizontal and vertical area settings. These parameters set the sensitivity of the horizontal and vertical movements. Setting these parameters to min will make your pan and tilts extremely sensitive to hand motions. Setting them to max would decrease the sensitivity. Next to the control panel tab on the bottom of the screen is the motion time-lapse tab. This feature allows you to create a time-lapse with dynamic motion. With the motion path feature, you can create custom motions for your time-lapse. You can also preview or clear the motion. The parameters you can set are the shot interval, which is how many seconds there are between shots, the total photo count, the length of your exposure, starting angle, and once those are set, pressing confirm starts the time-lapse. The next feature within the app is the panorama feature, which allows you to set the number of rows and columns in your panorama, as well as the horizontal and vertical adjustment based on the environment you are shooting. Once this is set, pressing confirm allows the 3XM to begin capturing your panorama. Now you know all you need to know about the Benro X-Series mobile app. So get out there and shoot something spectacular.